Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Gaming On Board. Tonight we're going to be taking a look at a Viking themed game called Hibernia. Uh, it's really just uh, an abstract area control game with little wooden cubes and uh, a unique scoring track. Uh, it's a filler game, a uh, quick little worker placement filler game. It's called Hibernia by Eric Vogel. It was released, I like the company name, uh, Closet Nerd. So they don't want anybody to know they're a nerd. But anyways, um, it looks like a cool little filler game. Uh, picked it up at Cape Fear Games here in Wilmington, North Carolina. It was 30% uh, off, so I snagged this for about $11. Uh, so let's go down to the table, open it up, take a look at the components, see what we got. All right, so this is Hibernia. Looks like a Viking-themed game. 30% off. And I want you to notice, uh, Cape Fear Games, they don't sell stuff at the manufacturer's suggested retail price. It's always below. So, great place to buy games. You can just walk in and pick it up. You don't have to order online and wait forever for it to show up. And the staff is great. So, this is uh, for three to four players. Could just said three or four. So... Um, but there are some on uh, Board Game Geek. Oh, there's some two-player variants. Um, ages eight and up, thirty to forty-five minutes. Sandstorm game. Let's see, Sandstorm. I guess is the distributor, and then Closet Nerd. Um, so there you go. They show the board, tell you what the components are, a little bit of flavor, and some description. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Slice. Blam. All right. Each one of the bags comes with its own little snack pack. Just kidding. Don't eat that. Throw it away. All right. So we've got four different color cubes. Wooden cubes. Um, they are. I mean, they're wooden cubes. Nothing special. And then in one of these, there we go, there's a start player token, a start player marker, and then a little custom die. Yeah. Meh. Not horrible, not anything great. But anyway, I think this tells you where you place your cubes on the map. And then black lets you put them anywhere, and then white helps you with scoring somehow. And... Pretty basic start player marker. It's all decent. It's not horrible. Then you got the instruction book. Uh, rolling. There's the map. Placing cubes. When they die, they go to this little area. I don't know how you determine who the start player is. Start box marked with the four Celtic symbols. Okay, I guess there's color coded. Let's find out because here's the game board. Ugh, game board's warped pretty bad. Um, geez, look at that. Uh, I guess it's been sitting there for. About six years now, if this was the 2011 version, so what do you expect? I can tell you it's not Cape Fear Games' fault. <laughs> Promise that. Alright, so here's the different regions on the map. Okay, there's the starting symbols, so you know. See, these aren't color coded, but I guess your color is whatever your symbol's on. And this is supposed to be red, like these, but it's like orange. So, there's that. And then this is where the dead ones go. So basically when you move into an already occupied area, you kill guys one for one. And then the only way to advance on this track is if you have warriors in an area or control an area of this color. So to move around, you have to control yellow, green, red, blue, blue. And I don't know how the rounds work, but I know that's how it works. So march armies to region of colored rolled. 
wild advance on the score track and then March to any region. So there you go. That's everything that comes in Hibernia. Kind of disappointed in this board. But um, what are you going to do? Still, it seems like a decent, you know, little abstract uh, area control game. So we'll, we'll check it out. Maybe I'll do a quick little how to play or some type of little review on it. But uh, that's everything that comes in the box for Hibernia. March to Victory. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. Also hit that subscribe button. Leave some comments down below. And check out GamingOnBoard.com. We have links there to our Facebook and Instagram accounts. And we do post daily. So as always, thanks for watching and play all the games.